Hi buddies, welcome to you all to my YouTube channel Sri and Stopedia. Hope you are all doing fine. Today in this video we are going to see how to reduce a 6 by 6 matrix by a principal dominance method. Often students find difficulties to reduce the matrix into 2 cross 2. Thus, at the end of the day, they would be rushing into YouTube or ask their friends to help them out. Before starting the explanation, let me tell you that this kind of question has been asked repeatedly every year. Though if you pay some attention over here, you will be rewarded with 8 to 10 marks for sure. Now you may be scratching your head to which subject this problem belongs to. Yes, you guessed it right. It is O, that is operation research. Okay, let us deal with the problem. Okay, then particularly with dominance method so let us jump to this in the first row you will be finding uh, write down the minimum values that is in the first row you will be finding zero value as a minimum value coming to the second row you will be finding minimum value again as a zero okay writing uh, in the minimum column and please uh, box the minimum values uh, in the particular rows coming to the third row i am dealing with one so one is the minimum value so coming to the fourth row, you will be finding minus 5 as minimum. So do not confuse with magnitudes, you need to see the signs. So minus 5 is the lesser value. Okay, coming to 5, uh, in this 5 again we are uh, finding minus 1 as uh, lesser value. Okay, once again in the sixth row, okay done, uh, we are finding minus 2 as a smaller value. Okay, after this, uh, cross check once what you have done. So observe that in the second and fifth and sixth columns, uh, you will be not finding any boxes okay then please circle those columns because they are ready to be eliminated because they have been dominated by first third and fourth column so straight away uh, column 2 column 5 column 6 will be eliminated that's it by the principal dominance method so uh, due to which your matrix reduces from 6 by 6 matrix to 6 cross 3 Okay, let us rewrite uh, the matrix by eliminating uh, uh, what that second, fifth, and sixth columns. Okay, we are left with first, third, and fourth columns. Let me write. Okay, in the rows we have not been eliminated single row, so there are remaining still there are remaining six rows. Okay, here you are. In the above method, you have done uh, row minimum values. In the same way. Observe for maximum values in the columns that mean first, third, and fourth. Okay, write the max and find out in the first column which is the maximum value. You will be finding four, 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 four. So you can choose any one of them. Okay, I will choose it from second row. Okay, that's it. Okay, then coming to the third column, uh, here you will be finding eight as what that. So sorry, it has it is three. It is not eight. Okay, it is three. Then you will be finding seven as maximum value. Let me write seven in the below. Okay, and in the same as in the fourth column, you will be finding 3 as a greater value. Here 7, here 3. Okay, done. We are uh, now observe once again uh, which are the rows in which you will be not finding any boxes. So, row 1, row 5, row 6 are the ones which have not got any boxes over there. Let me round this row 5, row 6. Straight away, this uh, rows will be eliminated as. Uh, uh, similarly has uh, three columns have been eliminated okay then let me write up uh, what that eliminating first fifth and sixth rows again we are uh, uh, shortlisted uh, from three cross three we will be dealing with three cross three matrix now okay let me do uh, the same procedure as i have done in the step one uh, finding once again the minimum value once again we here minimum value is zero then one then minus five okay then please box those okay then you can find a column that is column first which has got no boxes so that will be eliminated then uh, we will be left up with three cross two matrix uh, let me write without uh, column one okay let me show you okay. okay let me show you here it is so we are left with three cross two matrix now once again as i am done with uh, second method no you need to uh, second step no you need to do the same things that is maximum in column in the this third column seven is max and in the uh, fourth column three is max now look for the row which has got no boxes that is row two has not got any boxes okay once again you eliminate those uh, eliminate that uh, row 
again we have left out with three cross two matrix two two cross two matrix finally we have reached our goal that is from reducing six by six matrix to the two cross two matrix uh, so uh, you need to further proceed with the basic formulas like uh, player a that is probability of player b that is probability of b then lastly value of the game so hope i have cleared your all